searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to take him shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the Elven Mage, yet the Wild Hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. Welcome back, my friends, to- oh, goodness, I have this- no, wait, no, this is fine, okay, never mind. Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of The Witcher. Now, I do apologize for last week's episode, that was just horrendous with the recording. Like, even a little bit of it, I had to- uh, I'll admit, like, the uh, second half, I just re-recorded. Because I was just not happy at all, like, I have no idea what was going on with the- oh. Oh, that explains why there's tears all about here. Oh, oh goodness, this is you. <laughs> Fuck! I hope that's mud. If not, I am gonna be so pissed. Wait, move! <laughs> Fucking son of a bitch! I hate you so much. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, God. Burn. Fuck, I missed. Nope. Bitch. Fuck. And die. Oh, that was too close. Gosh, I hate those things. I think it managed to kill a deer, though. Yes, indeed it did. <sighs> I need to get more health. Like, more potion- or more food to eat. Let's see, what's more valuable? There we go. Okay, so that makes a bit more sense now. I completely forgot how to switch between like using those health potions or other food items. So that's kind of nice. Now then. To go visit that witch or to actually continue on with finding Siri. I'm going to worry about Siri for right now. Maybe if I have some time near the end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and visit her. If not, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick with Siri for now. So let's see. The fuck is that? Not so fast, Roach. Well, I can't investigate it. It is apparently too far underground. Let's see where to? Oh, crone to book back bog. I'm gonna switch quests here and follow this lead. I'll be right back. What the? F oh goodness, that is horrifying! Holy fuck! There is so many of you all around. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what did I wander into? Oh goodness, you guys are level 13 as well. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. This is okay. This is way too out of hand. Nope. Oh fuck. Nope. Okay. You know what? Roach, you're on your own. I'm so sorry. Actually, not at all. Fuck this place. <laughs> oh god, you're still here. Fuck. Nope. Nope. I refuse. I. Oh god, now there's wolves. I don't appreciate this. No, I'm not food. Fuck off. <laughs> This is terrible! God, there's 
There's so many of you. Goodness, all of that was just absolutely terrible. A oh, roach used to live. Oh god. Roach, hurry, let's go. Roach, run! Run, Roach! Holy fuck! This place is hell! Uh, fuck this. Ghouls. And where there's ghouls, there's usually corpses. Oh god. No, I don't want to be here. These are level... They don't even have a fucking level! Why the fuck would I want to be here? No! I refuse! This is way out of my league. Fuck this shit! Everything over here sucks! Why? Just stay still! Roach, you just want to get killed, I feel. Gosh, what are those things? Those things are absolutely adorable. That's fine. I'll let you go on your merry way. He understands when he's defeated. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> you just go about your business, good sir. <laughs> Let's go. That's fine. Oh, just one day in the middle of the game is just gonna suddenly creep across my screen. <laughs> well, Roach, it seems like you're just gonna be perpetually stuck in this fucking garden. Worthless and grant. Oh shit. Roach. You know what? I'm I'm just not even gonna bother. Alright, well anyway, since I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop by and say hello. The rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison, or crushed them into a pulp with a shovel, but no. Did you see what he did with them? That's interesting. Kira, what are you doing? Geralt, <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. 
The cursed isle on Lake Windama, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How did it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Vserad, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. Oh, you're trying to sweet talk me. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how. But they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Curious. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. They hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. <laughs> I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's gonna go ahead and have to wait, unfortunately. Oh, wow. It took a dark turn out here. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meditate till... Yeah, that. Strong alcohol was used for plants. How can be items? Which means I have three swallows again. Oh my goodness, it is getting worse out here. Well, now it's time better than ever. <sighs> okay. Finally back. That took so much longer than it probably needed to. I'm about like an hour in, and I feel this is probably only about like 18, 18 minutes so far. <sighs> anyway. So now we are to follow the trail of treats. Roach, I am not gonna bother. How often do they need to replace those candies? Oh. That's disgusting. So do they actually make treats and just hang them up on these plants? That is so weird. I mean, I get the necess necessity of this, but I mean, just... It just doesn't seem like it should be a thing. Oh, that's... Probably horrifying for any kids trying to travel through here. 
hear those screams of the of creatures all about you. Well, that seems like a pretty straightforward path to follow. Lots of tree hanging from everything. Ooh, loot. I'm gonna delve off the past here a little bit. Okay, time to continue on. You know, I wonder how long it took them to do all of this, and I wonder if they just constantly replenish, like, if they just go back, switch them out, off all the bad food, and just put a new one, if it's all just enchanted or something, or if it's just all, like, some kind of fake illusion. Like, really, what's the point of all this? Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you, go away. Rude! What are you doing out here alone? He's not alone. He's with Grab. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You can see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? <laughs> You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. I heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, Hide them lasses in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Wow, people here are perverts. <laughs> Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. That seems kind of harsh. Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? Nay, <laughs> I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. Okay. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Oh Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, cos I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone! That seems dire. Interesting. Well, time to go talk to that boy. Let's see, go over this way. Hmm. I'm going to try the side door. I feel that's going to be more comfortable. Torch. Oh, there you are. Okay, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Yes, I see you, Gran. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. 
I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And and stranger stale kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Hmm. Let's see here. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. <laughs> Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And eat snails, yuck. Ugh. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means oh. he's never hid from the black ones. Oh. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. You all think I don't know tracking. Oh, this will be easy. Let's see, where to start? You know, it probably doesn't help how heavily it's raining, honestly. Let's see. Oh, wait, I saw footprints. Here we go. Which way are these going? They're going this way. Traveling up along here. And. Found you. I can see you. You're kind of hiding easily within here. Here. The world. Nah, I'm not gonna loot stuff from them. I don't know if this game is one of those games where it actually has cons to you stealing people's stuff. I mean, I feel like this would be one of those games, but it just... I don't know. No, I'm just gonna loot stuff and... Oh wait, what's this? Are you hiding up on the rooftop where I can't reach you? I feel you. Oh wait, nope. There's just a foot. There you are. There you are. You all think I can't find you. It's apparently interesting though. Black one. They are trying to hide from the black ones. Found you. Oh. You can stop hiding. I, I wasn't even trying to find you. <laughs> I just saw plants and I wanted to gather them. Okay, so there's one left. It's also just terrible conditions out for play like this, I feel. Let's see. These steps over here. No, I just came over he from here. I need to find one more set of footprints and that other kid screwed. There. Oh, where's. Is it gonna be over here? Let's try. Oh, nope, that's just plants. Never mind. I am being stupid. Don't <laughs> fast travel in the middle of a game. Shoot. Okay. There has to be one more somewhere. 
see. Over here. No, I wonder if he's inside another building. Oh, that makes sense. Which, apparently, yes, he is. Are you hiding in with Gran? Oh, of course, you jumped out the window. Hey, no. Ah, crap, I have to climb around outside. You know, I feel Gran would be suspicious when I'm just running around here, completely just all over her stuff. But nope, she's just gonna sit there all casually. It's fine. So we jumped out that window. Steps over this way. Oh, do you? No one left hiding. You're a wizard, right? Gonna show us some tricks when we get to the cottage. I could. No, we'll talk about your promise. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promise, didn't we? Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse! Oh my god. Gran! Come! I think you'd pick a better hiding spot than that. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. It just seems so sad to say anything. Like, I remember a bit more about... Because it's after this part that I got. So I know a little bit more about what's going on here. It's still just absolutely dreadful and dreary outside. Oh, that's not ideal. Oh, God, why do I fight these things? I don't feel fire magic can do too much out in the rain. Oh God, we're none of you. I don't know why that surprised me. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Very interesting. You'd also feel it being. Oh god. Why are there so many of you? I guess I can see why witches want to keep, or 
why somebody would want to keep the ah, crap, the place in a hut in the middle of the swamp so nobody else can escape. <sighs> Gosh, I hate drowners. Water hags a bit more. Let's see. Footprints. More footprints. Get out of the way. There's a lot of footprints. How far away is this little hut? Hmm. Oh, this way. The tracks lead to a burrow. Oh. Wonder what's inside. Can I... Can I... What can I do here? There we go. Johnny? Oh, you... Don't be afraid. Are interesting. You're a bucka? A lutin? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Poor guy. Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? This is oddly adorable. Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. <laughs> I don't think they really need a response. I feel like he has to have something special to survive out in this swamp like this. Or just is really good at avoiding these fucking annoying ass things. Why do you have to lead us over close to these things? Damn it. curious about like what what's a godling now I feel it has it on the dictionary but I'm not gonna waste too much time with reading that this the place let me look around Ooh, nest something's on the ledge something that'll get you your voice back what must be getting his voice guess I gotta make this climb A smile. Oh, that's not a raven's nest. That that is that is something else entirely. More mushrooms. There are so many mushrooms here. I think you'd find more than just mushrooms in a nest or a swamp like this. Let's well, time to go search a quote-unquote raven's nest. Yeah, these are not ravens. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh god. Oh, there's so many of you. What the hell is this? I like that silk. Come on. 
we go. That's a bit closer than I like. Why even mutagen? And an egg. Am I just killing all kinds of females? I feel that's what I'm doing here. Talons. What is in here? Maybe he meant this bottle. Huh. This is bizarre. What would it be in a bottle? That. That. Okay, time to get down there. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Nope. Ah! Okay. I got you your bottle, Johnny. Here. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life! Wait Hang a on second. A minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yes. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Oh, God. Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. That old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Gosh, I think you were gonna try and run off without even giving me anything in return. Do you know how many of those things were up there? You would have gone your whole life without freaking saying so many profanities. <sighs> Oh, come on, Johnny. Oh, don't tell me there's gonna be more of those things. Oh, great. Yeah, oh, well, let's get this taken care of. Watch out! Come on, piece of shit. One down. I can't just take your stuff right now. I, I don't feel like coming back for it. There we go. Oh god, no. Oh, I hate you so much. Oh, 
I'm just gonna try this. Cause why not? Okay, so one of you bastards down. Alright, gather your stuff. There we go. Okay, now just this last drowner to take care of. Are you hiding under the ground or something? There you are. No piece of shit. Oh, that's interesting. I think I saw another soldier around here. Was that just the same one? I think that was just the same one. Oh well. Let's go, Johnny. I wonder if I could, yeah, I already mentioned this. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to look up godlings and just... Bestiality, blah, 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 blah. Godlings. Action. This. Oh, you're hideous as fuck. Oh, there we go. Not that long ago, the area around Pleasant Hamlets were cock full of guardian spirits. Day, it's night, unto impossible to spot a brownie, buncula, or lutin. In godlings, they are always the first to go. Such is the price we pay for civilians to march forward. From preference to the world we have lost by Professor Dory. Godlings, sometimes mistaken for lutins, are woodland creatures dwelling in burrows and moss-covered hollows, stumps on outskirts of human settlements. They are similar to children in behavior and appearance, and, like children, delight in mischief. Godlings are deeply rooted in their home territory and perform acts of care and guardianship to those dwelling near their burrows. They watch over people as well as animals, but are shy creatures by nature. They do try and remain unseen. Godlings are also drawn to joy and innocence, and so delight in the company of children, usually only show themselves to the young. That's why they're explained to be made up. These hardworking and clever creatures gladly perform small services for those in their care, only showing respect and payment to the form of food or cast off tools in return. They are easily offended by churlish, ungrateful, or simply rude behaviors. Godlings also treasure their peace and quiet when the village is. In the village a godling watches over becomes too populous or its inhabitants forget the old ways, it abandons its burrow for good for good and walks off to destination destinations unknown. That's kind of interesting. So this one might not even Johnny might not even be a kid. He could actually be fully grown. That explains a lot about a lot of this. So I'm curious if they Let's deal with their parents, though. Like, if they have parents, did they abandon them? How are they raised? Or are they just spirits Good. up here? It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Just shout it out so she knows what's going on. Little Johnny softly gazes, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You, you got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. <laughs> You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. 
because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Jeez. Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. I think to have your voice stolen would just be awful. And that's a dead bat. That's fine. It's an ominous music. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies, lovely. With power over all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Excuse me? Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? <laughs> You don't know who I am, ladies. Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen earth moon. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. Dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone eyes, stone ears. Alright, so, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for this episode.
I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the recording didn't blow up again like it did last time. I, I need to get this checked. I have a blue Yeti. It shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff. Anyway, won't take any more of your times. I'd like to thank you guys again once more for watching. Till next time, hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.